It was late November last year when we took our first look at Octavi's IFR-1, a functional and versatile peripheral to enhance your flight simming experience. But it didn't come with any stand or mounting option. Well, that's now changed. There's now a bespoke mounting plate available from those guys at Cockpit Crofters, the German-based company renowned for its quality. And it's been designed in conjunction with Octavi directly. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the stand. But did you know the Octavi was designed from the ground up to be mounted? So even if you wanted to install it on a different mounting option, I'll show you how. Welcome back to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark and let's get started. This is not the first time on the channel I've featured products from Cockpit Crafters. Previously I've featured their touchscreen mounting plates with an option to mount the knobster and when used in conjunction with Air Manager provides heightened realism and immersion for the more serious pilot. The developers themselves are real world pilots. Before we get into the detail I do need to mention that Cockpit Crafters supplied the mount to me for the purposes of review is from their test production run, so the final product may vary slightly from the one shown in this video. I'm not linked or affiliated to Cockpit Crafters in any way. The mount itself is very nicely crafted, with a slightly textured finish, no problems in the quality department, and the pre-drilled holes in the base are designed to mount directly on the Alpha Yoke or Bravo throttle quadrant from Honeycomb. In the kit you get two M4 screws to facilitate this, or as I did, just use the ones in the honeycomb. To fix the Octavi to the mounting plate, you get the necessary screws and four knurled nuts. To mount the Octavi, you do have to remove the back of the unit, and a special tool is provided for that. And note both Octavi and Cockpit Crafters say you do this at your own risk. These are the four screws that you need to remove from the back of the Octavi unit. Make sure you only remove the back and not the main board. Keep that in place. Here you will see there are four housings to accommodate screws already built into the Octavi. Remove the four sticky pads from the outside back panel. And now the screw holes are fully exposed. Insert the four 2.5 hex screws. Then replace the back of the Octavi unit and secure with the four screws, taking caution not to over tighten. You're now ready to attach it to the Cockpit Crafters mounting bracket. And this is where you'll need the four knurled nuts, slightly beveled one side, bevel side towards the mounting plate, attached to the screws and tighten. They've been quite cleverly designed so that you can't over tighten and potentially damage the unit, as you may be tempted to do so if it was just a standard bolt. And you're done. One point to note is that once the Octavi is on the bracket, it is slightly front heavy with a tendency to tilt forward. If you wanted it purely as standalone, then you'd have to add some weights to the base. But this bracket is designed to be screwed into place, thus the mounting holes in the base of the mounting bracket. I found the process fairly straightforward and easy to do. It's neat and tidy and the colours match. Just my OCD kicking in. And as you can see here, it's mounted on the Alpha Yoke. I could have easily put it on the Bravo Throttle Quadrant if I'd wanted to. This mounting is just an example. This is on my static rig, so for me that's not where it's going to live, as I use the Tobii Eye Tracker 5. But on this rig I do have the Cockpit Crafters touch panel with touchscreen monitor, and I have the Knobster installed as well. Where the Octavi with the bracket has found a home is on my Doff Reality H3 motion platform, which I use for my VR flying. As I'm in VR I can't use it for all functions, but I use it mainly to control my PFD and MFD. Relying on muscle memory, it works really well for controlling my Garmin units. You'll notice on the bracket there are two center drill holes. These are not required for the Octavi, but for an alternative fitting option. This would facilitate the fitting of a RAM mount, so you could fit something like an iPad if you wanted to, and have it mounted directly from your peripheral. As I understand it, they won't be selling this direct, but once a product becomes available, they will be publishing details, so you could source it yourself from the likes of Amazon. Cockpit Crafters have advised they will be selling this product directly through Aerosoft and not direct from their website, at a price point of about 33 euros before shipping and any sales tax or VAT that may be applicable. 
This would, in my opinion, make it a relatively expensive option for those living in the States, for example, and even for those in the UK. If you're into DIY, well, you now know what's needed and required. If not, well, the option is available to you to go and grab this bracket. All components are of the highest quality, and in my opinion, it enhances the usability of the Octavi considerably. For the sake of clarity, cockpit crafters will continue to sell directly a touch panel bracket for the Honeycomb Alpha and Bravo, as well as offering the option to purchase the touchscreen and the Knobster as a complete kit. I'll leave links to their website in the notes below. If you are considering getting any of their touch brackets, note this doesn't apply to the full kits or the Octavi bracket, then Cockpit Crafters are offering you a 15% discount using the code SIMHANGER2024 as indicated. Thanks very much for joining me today. Stay well, look after yourself. See you again soon and ciao for now.